Hey guys, what's going on? Brick Speedster here, and today we're going to be reviewing probably the best LEGO Star Wars set ever made, in my opinion, and that is the Inquisitor Transport Scythe. This set came out in summer, the summer wave of 2022, and retails for only $100 in the U.S. As you can see, there's 924 pieces and four amazing minifigures down here. I mean, just looking at the box art, it looks great. You got Tatooine down in the bottom left. You got the Obi-Wan kind of corner box art down there with Obi-Wan and Vader fighting. And the ship just looks super sleek on the box and it just looks super nice, the box art alone. But let's get into the minifigures right now. Taking a look at our first figure here, we have Reva, also known as the third sister. No leg printing on this figure, which is quite unfortunate to the amazing leg printing we see on the um, other Inquisitors included. The torso is not bad, just plain, kind of the female Inquisitor look for there. On the back, a little bit of back printing with a belt, you can see. And then the cape is just the um, actual, actually a two-hold cape on this figure. So it's the soft fabric two-hold cape, just like that. And then also she has her double-sided Inquisitor uh, lightsaber there. Looking at the face, single-sided face. Uh, the face itself looks nice, however the hair is definitely a complaint I have with this figure. It's just not very accurate, and I don't know, I feel like maybe it could have been better. Decent looking figure, and nice to just get this figure, probably going to be an exclusive to this set. Let's move on to the next figure. Look, Taking a look at the fifth brother hair, wow, this might probably be my favorite figure or tied for favorite in the set. We haven't seen this figure since Rex's ATTE from Rebels and what an update they like just provided with this figure. You could see he has a custom molded little helmet piece there and if you take a look at his face uh, like a tealish blue type for the actual skin then he has his black helmet around and then on the back just some really extra like nice extra printing on the back and then if you look here he has a uh brand new custom mold for, i believe for this um kind of shoulder pauldron piece where you're able to equip the lightsaber like so and then excellent torso printing if i just remove this you could see all the detail there much better than reva's torso printing and much more exciting even though it is covered up uh, the leg printing is also very very nice with some nice black detailing on the sides there as well as these gray stripes or black stripes on that gray continuing down looks very nice and very sleek getting such unique pieces for each figure is just you love to see that type of effort put into a Lego set. Let's move on to our next Inquisitor. Here we are taking a look at the Grand Inquisitor himself. The face print is more accurate to the Obi-Wan TV show than the more cartoony Rebels. I'm honestly not sure which one I like better. This one, both of them are nice in their own regards. I do like the way the eyes look in this one and the gray tattooing kind of looks, honestly, I think I favor that one a bit more. You have his uh, unique sh shoulder pauldron hair, which is more unique than the fifth brothers, and actually you're able to fully rotate his arm up to about nine, a little more than 90 degrees, which isn't possible with the fifth brother, so that's nice to see there. Looking at his torso, it is in fact unique and different than the fifth brothers. You have the Inquisitor insignia, I believe that is, which is also present on his shoulder pauldron as well. Same thing with the fifth brother, you could clip his lightsaber to the back. Looking at the Inquisitor's cape, this is a brand new cape, actually. And again, same leg printing as the Fifth Brother. Overall, absolute amazing figure. This is probably tied with the Fifth Brother for me for best figure of the set. And probably one of the best Star Wars figures I might even own, I feel like. So that's all for the Inquisitors. Now let's move on to the Obi-Wan figure of the set. Taking a look at Obi-Wan here, we have him from the beginning of the TV show where he's in his, I guess, undercover civilian outfit, not in his Jedi robes. And here he has a cloth poncho that looks looks nice. Little, little I guess, bulky kind of, like uh, flies up a little bit. Looking at the torso, pretty plain, but effective. Looks accurate to the show and it's a nice kind of sand bluish color, which looks, I guess, really nice to the eye. 
No leg printing, unfortunately, but I guess you don't really need any on this figure. Maybe some sand would have just been fine with a belt. Here you could see his new face print from the TV show. You have a calm kind of smile expression and then an angry, I guess, fighting expression there. As well as his brand new hairpiece for this figure with a kind of longish flow going around the back. Almost like a mullet, I guess you could say. And it just looks nice. It looks very accurate to Ewan in the show. And, I mean pretty much a necessary inclusion if you're gonna make an Obi-Wan set. So let's move on to the actual set itself. Here we are with the best set itself. And as you can see, I have it on its own little display scene that I made for it with a bunch of tan one by ones to represent sand. Let's take this off of the sand base and begin at the front. So with this 924 piece count, um, the overall footprint of this set is actually quite large. If I here, I could grab the um, U-wing over here, and you could see in comparison just the the size is definitely up there with some of the larger sets. While not as long as the U-wing itself, because the U-wing has those front, I guess, like wing pieces that are super long. This one definitely holds its own in regards to size. Looking at the front, you could see these absolutely stunning angles that the designers were able to capture on this set. And I'm still mind blown at the whole building process in general of these things. Here, if I lift up that piece there, you could see kind of, I guess, how these front pieces here are attached with like mixel uh, joints right there with the ball joints and they kind of just folds over and sits on like there's no stud connection at all with those then over here these pieces are on hinge pieces um, that allow it to lie flat on the side builds here and it just overall creates a triangular shape that I feel is super hard to replicate and they did it absolutely fabulously the loading ramp where the figures can walk out and on which is also seen in the show and that looks great as well open or closed moving along the side a little bit of greebling not much you got some like ingot pieces here with some uh, grill pieces as well and it does it does the set justice i feel like because you don't need too much since it's all black so kind of it blends in until you get up close and when you get up close it still looks great moving around we have the back side here some sticker pieces not a lot in this set i feel like there was only nine i want to say and with these here i guess it just adds a little bit of detail i mean it doesn't look bad it's just I don't know if it was really necessary, but, you know, looks fine. Engines here, you have nice blue engines. And then moving on to the wings, these wings fold down like so. And if you lift it up, you could actually fold them down a little bit more, getting more of like an Imperial Shuttle type feel with that. Overall, just like the look of the ship is so aesthetically pleasing that I feel land in landing position or flying position it just looks fabulous there were stud shooters or spring load shooters underneath here but i removed those super easy to remove literally you just take them off like no mods anything you just take them off because they're attached with uh bracket pieces so super easy then moving along again to the top now you can see they have this exclusive pr exclusively printed uh, cockpit piece in the trans red which adds a nice pop of color and if you just lift that piece up you could fold it back like that and then if you want to fold the wings down you can unfold these pieces and you have full access to the interior which for the interior of a ship that's a hundred dollars this interior is absolutely mind-blowing all sticker pieces in here, no printed besides the control panel, but the amount of detail that they're able to get on these stickers really makes the room feel that much bigger. And these sticker pieces here are on angles, so it makes the room feel a bit wider instead of just straight up and down, which makes it feel more claustrophobic. You're able to get your fingers in there, position your figures however you'd like. In the back here, it almost creates like a hallway kind of feel, I'm thinking is what they were going for, with these lights that just go into the back kind of gives that hallway feel like I was saying. And then 
up front you could see three seats for all your inquisitors and then a special i guess seat with a reclining feature for your inquisitor pilot and also they include these nice uh two, one by three tiles which those lightsaber pieces are in the one by three jumpers and that is just a nice way to pull off the pieces if you don't want them and put them in the set and actually not lose them so it just keeps everything nice and secured not going to lose any pieces in here what a set i mean for a hundred dollars getting four excellent figures even if one is a little bit bland and one amazing not only set to display but the building process is so enjoyable and i really was just awed by the amount of different techniques they used in this set. It really shows that you don't need to buy a $200 UCS set to get insane techniques. You could buy an $100 set right here that looks amazing and just has an amazing build experience. And for this to be 9 plus is really shocking because I think this is more advanced than the helmet sets by far. And the helmet sets are 18 plus. This set really just blew my mind open for what is possible with LEGO. And I'm excited for future sets to come if this is what we have right now. I think that everything in the future is probably going to be great. And so that is going to wrap up the review for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys did enjoy. Definitely, I know I recommend a lot of sets to pick up, but this is one I highly recommend. Definitely a 10 out of 10 probably above that i'll give it a 20 out of 10 if i could you have to build it for yourself to truly understand what i'm talking about because the build experience is also half of why i say the set is so good but like i said that's going to be all if you guys did like this video please subscribe i really would appreciate that and i'm hoping to hit 100 subscribers by the end of february is my goal so like i said see you in the next one